Good morning. Good morning. Today's card pull is brought to you by Divine Abundance. That's right. It's Abundance Week, my friends. So this week's card pull was inspired by a conversation I had with my very dear friend, very wise dear friend, Alyssa Rizzo. Um, and she has just amazing wisdom and just, and just so much. I'm so blessed to have her gifted to me as a friend. So she and I were talking and she was sort of waxing poetic about abundance in her life and the abundance she was finding. And she wasn't just talking about money because abundance, I mean, abundance can be money, but it, it's not just a mon about money. She was talking about all sorts of amazing things. And she, she was talking about um, abundance can be the ability to be able to figure things out, to be a problem solver. You have an abundance of um, that skill set. That's amazing. Abundance can show up as in you have community resources at your disposal when your finances aren't there and allowing you to pay for something. A lot of communities provide daycare, you know, libraries are a, a, a one level of abundance. Um, I mean, there's just so many things out there um, that help our community resources. And I just love that mindset of really seeing the nuances of what abundance is in our life. And so I wanted to do the card pull today, a collective pull for everyone about abundance. And my card pull today was balance, which I loved. Of course I do. I love all my card pulls. I literally say that every week. I'm going to try not to say that anymore. Sorry. So this says, um, balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation objectively, you'll resonate with one side more than the other. Try not to view either as good or bad, but simply recognize that it is. The true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equitable, objective perspective. Oh, hashtag perspective, last week's theme. Um, it can be difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. So I love this because understanding the balance gives us the perspective to appreciate abundance, to be able to look at things and think of them in an abundant fashion, in an abundant way. So lately I have been um, adding a service to my, my monthly clients of giving them daily sort of journal prompts, um, things to think about. And um, starting with like gratitude and, and abundance and self-love and starting your day thinking about these positive things to sort of, you know, set the tone to, to help you start your day in a great way. And so today I am challenging all of you to seek and find and observe the abundance that is already in your life. And I want it to be hopefully something that's not something you considered an abundant thing before. So I gave an example of I have abundance of love and support in my life, which I do. I am very, very blessed to have been surrounded by so many amazing souls that just want to come along with me for the ride and um, let me into their life and I let them into mine. But I also have an abundance of jewelry because, well, yeah, that's who I am. I have an abundance of interest and desire to create things. I like to be creative and I like to be creative in the kitchen. I like to be creative in crafts. I like to be creative in my dress, in everything I do. So there is abundance there. So today, where is your abundance? And let's see how our abundant week goes. <laughs> 